Thanks for checking out our channel today, guys. What we're going to be looking at is a 2019 Ford F-150 that we built for the New Providence Fire Department as their new command vehicle. So taking a look at this vehicle, features sound off signals, blueprint electrical system with the 3.0 software with the OBD2 interface that allows us to get all the vehicle signals from the OBD2 reader without needing to splice or cut into any of the factory wiring harness. Taking a look up front, what we have is a Sentina PB400 with a sound off signal forehead stick in the grill. This is in dual color configuration. In the front headlight, we have a sound off signal white hideaway LED. Up top on the light bar, we have a sound off signal Enforce 54 inch light bar that's also in dual color. The car is currently in park, so all the white flashing lights are off besides the hideaways. And then what we'll demonstrate is the vehicle out of park. Vehicle in drive or response mode. You can see we've added flashing white into the light bar, white into the front stick, white into the side mirror lights. We've changed up the pattern of the light bar to provide a more functional response mode. One thing that you notice with the system is that when the vehicle is in park or now, all the patterns are synced. This makes sure you have full vehicle coverage while responding. Taking a look at the side of the vehicle, you can see the custom design graphics package that we've designed for this vehicle. The graphics were done with premium grade 3M materials. You can see underneath the mirror, the sound of signal under mirror light in dual color configuration. This provides additional white warning and it also functions as the vehicle's alley light when you turn on the left or right alley button. On the running boards, we have four inch sound of signal dual color M powers. And then on the back fender, you can see we have another four inch sound off M power. And then in the side here, you can also see the Cosmo auto eject. This is wired to an inverter with a built in transfer switch and battery charger. So with the vehicle in park, you can see that we have the white flashing shut off and then we have that all the side lights are synchronized in with the light bar. So with the side of the vehicle, on the cab, we have side access doors with side tool compartments. This allows them to mount any flashlights or any other hand tools that they might want to charge in here. And then what we've done is we've mounted all the electronics behind removable panels that will allow them to gain access to anything. <clears throat> we also have sound off signal strip lights mounted inside the compartment. These are wired to a pin switch that turn the lights on and off. This is all done through the blueprint electrical system, so we're able to monitor, we're able to monitor the vehicle signal so we can actually tell the system that the door is open and actually alert the driver that the side door is not fully closed. Okay, so taking a look at the back of the vehicle, you can see up top we have a six head N4 stick. We have sound off signal hideaway LEDs that are in the turn signal. The white is an additional light in the fog light. This light turns on when you put the car into reverse for additional rear warning. And then we also have a red in the turn signal brake. These lights are wired to the blueprint system so that we're able to shut them off when you put the turn signal on or you press the brake lights so that you can see that you're actually braking behind you. On the bottom, we have sound off signal, four inch M powers in dual color. The white is wired to come on when you put on reverse or when you drop the tailgate. <clears throat> so with the tailgate dropped and the hatch opened, you can see that we've illuminated the rear area of the cabinet with sound off signal strip lights in the compartment. These are wired through a pin switch, just like the side doors. This is tied into the blueprint system, so we're able to monitor that signal and we can alert the driver that a, do a door may be open on the vehicle. With the cabinet not slid out, this is one of our custom designed cabinets with a thousand pound slide master. You can see that we've installed the speakers and the radios into the rear side compartments of the vehicle. So that way that they're able to work for the radio without sliding the cabinet out and it's giving them more storage area in the cabinet. So with the cabinet slid out, you can see that we've designed this one specifically for this customer and some of the equipment that they were carrying. Up top, we have spot to mount a piece of equipment with straps to secure it. We've got a small set of drawers that they're able to small, store small equipment in. And then we have a standard file drawer with rails. And then here we have our custom magnetic dry erase board. This is a side flip. So that way the customer is able to stand here and operate the radios without having to pull the cabinet out. <clears throat> on the side, on this side, we have a large storage area for, um, 
hand tools, extinguishers, anything like that. And then we also have a slide out mounting board that they're able to mount their pack to. So then on the driver's side of the cabinet, we have an adjustable shelf, which allows them to move it to any position with just loosening a couple, loosening a couple bolts. And then we have a power strip that's mounted to it. This is tied into the inverter that has a built-in transfer switch. Anytime you plug in to the shoreline, it energizes that power strip along with charges the battery. And then anytime you turn the inverter on, this will also have power. So what we're gonna be looking at is our rear distribution center, which is underneath the second row seat. You can see we have our our Xanatrex inverter that has the built-in transfer switch and battery charger. We've installed their customer supplied radios and then we have the central controller and our main distribution for the blueprint system. One thing that we've done is the customer requested a dual battery system and for ease and serviceability, we were able to mount underneath the back seat an Odyssey automotive battery. We were able to isolate that from the factory battery so that all the auxiliary equipment runs off this battery and not off the starting battery so that way when the ignition shut off there's no load on that starting battery which always allows the vehicle to start okay so taking a look at the center console that we designed for this vehicle have this docking station tied into a hint mount laptop mount that's secured to the side of the console so it provides a very sturdy platform for the equipment to be mounted to we have our inverter control, and then we've also extended the USB system that ties into the audio. We have the two customer supplied radios, along with the blueprint controller, cup holders. We have a custom made padded armrest that allows for storage inside of it. And then we've mounted their speakers for the radios to the side of the console. And then we have additional power points on the passenger side of the console. Looking at the controls for the unit, we have arrow stick, takedown, left alley, right alley, a rear scene function, cruise, dim, which allows all the lights to be dimmed in nighttime situations, and then a green command mode in the light bar. One thing that we've done is we have park kill as always tied into the siren buttons, which does not allow the siren to function when the vehicle is in park. So if you're responding to an incident and you pull up, when you put the car in park, it automatically shuts the siren off so you don't accidentally leave that on. If you like what you see, check out our website, www.1075vehicles.com, and you can view all of our latest deliveries and our available build options for you. Thanks for checking out our video, and don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Leave a like on this video and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your attention and support. Thank you.